Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Worlds of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy, not worlds. Anyway, let's go on. Further into the world of adventure, we shall. Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. I shall claim it as mine. It shall be adorable. I know what I'll name thy. Name shall be wonderful, an amazing name that none shall question in all oh, the no. land. First, you're the going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the called a prism. Use it to the make the choco chips prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! But does it, it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time the mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the choco chip, then the use your prism. Imprisoning mirages. In order to imprison a mirage, you'll need to... an empty prism, compatible with that mirage. But there's some good news. And a crow will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you encounter a new mirage. Huh? Why don't... doesn't Anna crow just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, where's the fun of that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every Mirage you meet eventually. But be sure to take the time to get to know the friends you have before looking for new ones. All about Prismariums. Once a Prism holds a Mirage, it is known as a Prismarium. A Mirage's Prismarium allows you to use the Mirage in battle. If you look closely at a prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. <laughs> so to recap, you start with an empty prism, and prisming a mirage is the, in the prism turns it into a prismarium. The prismarium lets you add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you won't lose the prism. So there's no need to hold back. Good luck. So it's better than a pokeball. Mirage data and the Libra ability. If you press options during battle, a window will open containing info on the mirages you are facing. And with Libra ability, you can see even more detailed information and switch between mirages with the L1 and R1 button. Oh, element and status ailment systems. Each mirage is strong or weak against certain elements and status ailments. Learn the identity that following symbols when looking at mirage data. Fire, ice, thunder, wind, water, earth, light, dark, poison, fusion, sleep, blindness, oblivion, oblivion, defeat, slow, and death. Nullifies elemental attacks. Absorbs elemental attacks. Huh. In addition to status ailments, characters sometimes undergo the other positive and negative changes in battle. They are usually triggered by abilities, and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Stun, Protect, Shell, Reflect, Regen, Haste, Bravery, Faith, KO. Strength up and down, Magic up and down, Accuracy up and down, Defense up and down, Magic Defense up and down, Evasion up and down. Okay. Automatically cast Libra for me, man! Okay, we gotta phys use Physical Head to create Prismarium. I guess that's like Prism Unity. Cries a Joker Crit Chick Prison. Okay. Imprisoned um, Potion Gishiashi Jirins. I guess that might be uh, what it drops when you beat him up. Size is S. Okay. Uh, I'm always about that. Does that mean it's weak to f ice or strong against ice? I cannot tell. I think it might be weak to ice and weak to the bottom one, which is darkness. Oh, we can cycle. Okay, it's a uh, weak to oblivion and death. Resistant to confusion and sleep. Okay. Our main characters are. Oh, we got some ailment resistances. We are weak to all those. Ha! B 
Here's a trick check. What? There, a prism tunity. Use the imprism command to the claim that mirage oh. for your own. Go on. The select the imprism command. So it's glowy you like. You to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and to give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Creating a prism unity. You can't sp just walk up to a mirage and imprison them. Collect a mirage. You need to knock it into the prism unity state first. Mirages won't let their guard down forever, so don't miss a prism unity when it arrives. Sometimes all you need to create a prism unity is a big, heavy club. But the brute force approach doesn't work always work. Try pulling the putting the club down and thinking of outside the box. Prism unity requirements vary from mirage to mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint. It's all shiny now. I want it. It's a shiny chukka chick. Ow! Yeah, from what I know for Pokemon, I want to hit it one more time first. Yeah, look at that. It's all, like, depressed. So that means I can hit it now. Uh, circle. Go! It's rocking. It's rocking the Pokeball. And, oh, I think... Oh, oh. Oh, I got it. That's how you get it. Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! Well, that ought to do that it. That wasn't so bad. Sweet! And finally, we level up. And so does Ren. No gill. I guess I don't get any gill when I capture it. Let's take a look. Now we got a good look at it. Got strength, magic defense, and agility. Of course, it's a, it's, it's a chocobo. It has high agility. A little chocobo that loves to waddle around, and these feathery friends love to headbutt things. This is fine because a chocobo chick's eggshell never cracks twice. It's HP. I guess that's growth rate. Yeah, agility is like a four star growth rate. Its only weakness is magic defense and HP, really. Yeah, we, we all know this. And what's transfigurations? Hmm. Name your Mirage? Oh, I know what I'm naming it. I was just joking about it. I know what I'm calling it when I get it. I was... In remembrance of a good friend. Who's also a chicken. Deep Fried! Looks good! We got Deep Fried now. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> The Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Don't shake Pretty it. Pretty neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even the decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Should I stack? When you stack the mirage with mirages, the stats, such as HP, of all the stack members are combined. Your abilities may also transform. Stacking with the right buddy can give you access to new and powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart. But there is one downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into trouble. 
Set up your stacks, use the Stack Setup screen in the Game Menu to choose which Mirages will fight alongside you, or is on top of you. You should set up your stack for both your forms, Lilikin and Giant. That way you're ready for battle, no matter what size you're using to explore. Okay. A stack can be used be up to three members high. There is one simple rule, smaller goes on the top, on top of bigger. Try it out, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Get wise about Mirage size. Lon, Ren, and the Mirages are assigned size, SML. In your stack, L goes on the bottom, M goes in the middle, and S goes on the top. Easy, right? When Ren and Lon are L-sized giants, Mirages will, only, will always stack above them. But when the so twins are M-sized Lilikin, things get a little more crazy. Suddenly, they can run on top of L-sized Mirages and put S-sized Mirages on top of their heads. At the same time! It's insane. By the way, you two can be switched between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't that? be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. I was just letting her shut up first. <laughs> this is not the way I want to say it. I was letting her talk first. I don't like missing dialogue. That was a horrible way of saying it. I apologize now. I feel I'm sorry, Dama. But you all know what I mean, right? Well, now we got a choker chick on top of Rain's head. Is this an mirage? Sweet. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the beer! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Okay. Give me, give me. You see a luster leaf reflected in its eyes. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. What? Using mirage boards to power up. Each mirage has its own mirage board, a special chart that packed that's packed with new powers and potential. The ability stat boosts each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can lock the spaces using the SP skill point. Your mirages earn when they level up. Some spaces in the mirage board cannot be unlocked until you meet a specific conditions. But with little work, they'll all, they're all within reach. Ugh. Support ability, Stroll! Mirages that have learned the Stroll ability will appear out alongside Rain and Lawn in the field, so you can explore Grimoire together. If you ac are accompanied by multiple Mirages with a Stroll ability, you can cycle above between them by, by the D-pad. Sometimes strolling Mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing different Mirages to different places. You might be surprised by what you they find. Sweet. Okay, I guess, uh... Oh, Mirage board! Let's see, um, you got... Got some bigger... I guess these are bigger forms? Okay. Got a skill point. Unlock stroll. Let's see if I can unlock anything else. That's four. Oh, SP. There it is. I can get RAM. Yeah, learn RAM. Now let's check Tom out when we're here. She has like four skill points. Seems she has a, multi a form she can evolve to, too. She started out with two forms already. Guess she can't get cured yet. Gonna raise HP a bit. I 
I guess you two don't got any special skill points or whatever. Hey, the Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. You're kidding, right? Huh? It found something. It was right here. Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time! Yeah, but, yeah, but, ah! Yeah. Gimme, gimme! Take it! Why did you already, we already had, it was right there! Walk and get it! Whoa, it vanished! That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep! With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Brimmore like a pair of the pros. Huh. So I was right up the evol transcending be tra transfiguration thing be evolving. And just Okay, that button switches characters. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the Oops, shut her up. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own world. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. What was that? Let's kill it. Now what's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. And he runs in. Like an idiot. Behemoth. Uh, this one's not very cute. Mercrits! Scary but true. Mercrits are home to strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared before diving in. Most mercrits will be too tough for you to handle when you first find them. If you do end up getting whomped, come back later. After you've gotten a bit stronger. Vaughn! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercrifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. I want him. I shall acquire him. He's probably gonna kick our butts. Do I care? Probably so. We'll try Libra. This is it. HP unknown. He is weak to darkness. Or does that mean resistant? I can never tell. No, he's re he's weak to darkness. He's resistant to everything, and I want that. That's like OP. It's like a, a like a smaller mirage that's resistant to darkness. That would have been a perfect balance. Channel win. Nice knowing ya. Uh, oh, she has a dagger. He missed. Wait, she hit him, right? She uh she didn't do any damage. He's dodging us? Take this! Yeah, taste that! Seven damage! Wait. Oh boy! He hits kinda hard. I don't even see how much damage we did. Okay, I guess it's a little force loss fight. <laughs> he 
Yeah, his normal hand swipe kills me. That was probably a forced loss fight. Oh no. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little, and then the whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to the do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Merkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest to spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> when the party has fallen, when the entire party is defeated, Tama will whisk everyone back to the safety of Nine Woods Hills. That makes sense. There is no penalty, but you will have to fight your way back to where you were. Be careful. Though if you're inside th the threshold of a powerful mirage, Tom won't be able to save you. It's game over. Hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when there. it's no easy trick. Oh. That's she must have experience hey, crossing between planes. Does that mean she got really lost? Like, seriously. You have a hard time crossing between planes. So, she's over at North Promenade. I'm just seeing if they talk anymore. I like listening to the conversation between the characters. It's fun. Can I do it here, too? I can! Okay, I'm gonna say Chibi for a bit. Chibi! Both Chibi. No, just her. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Well, you're a Lilikin right now. Chocobo Golita! <laughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolate! Chocolate! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Chain! The Chocolate Mark. Mark. Chocolate has a habit of picking up all sorts of strange items. Those items can be yours if you're ready to fork over enough of Grimoire's currency, which is known as Gil. The Chocolate Mart's selection is always improving, so when you visit Ninewood Wood Hills, don't miss the opportunity to stop by and see what's in stock. Okay, she has a pick-me-up, or remove sleep- okay, it's a sleep item. Dream powder- wow, this stuff's expensive. Slow down! 
What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. I think she likes Chocobos. Like, a lot. So, hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Sure. Selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums, more than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrow made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh yeah, this prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Storing Mirages in the Prism Case. Anacro has entrusted Seraphie with a Prism Case that automatically stores all the Prismariums you collect. You can use it s to select which Mirages you take with you on your adventures. The Prism Case is also where you are permitted to transfig your Mirages. Talk about a handy contraption. Seraphie keeps the prism case in the Ninewood Hills. You can access it by talking to her directly. But the case is also at your disposal in Grimoire. Just select it from the menu of a, at gates or save crystals. Obtain a Seraphone. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> Seraphones! The Seraphone is a special device you can use to call Seraphie. And access your prism case remotely! Seraphie's not too keen on leaving Ninewood Hills, but thanks to Seraphone, you can sk still swap in mirages while out on the go. Just keep in mind that each Seraphone can only be used once, because Seraphie doesn't feel like getting up off her by. Or because your data security is important, of course. Obtained a Sylph Prism. Prismarium. It's so cute! Look at it! He's so cute! Wow, it has like... It's weak against poison. Whatever that one is. <sighs> Oblivion. And I don't... Is that like... <sighs> a Saul or something? But it's resistance to confusion. Sleep. Or is that daze? I gotta remember what these all look like. Okay. And it's basic damage is okay. It's growth rate, jeez, it's magic defense and agility is high. It's magic kind of sucks, it's strength's okay, it's defense is low, it's health is low, but it's magic defense and agility make up for everything, because look at that stat. Man, if I got someone to cover the other stats, that's a really good stat total. Okay, oh, we get a name it, namer. Um, I don't know, um, something cute? Biscal? Biscal! I hope this doesn't mean anything. Biscal. Biscal. Yeah, yeah. I like making up words sometimes, so I can't think of anything. Well, it's been 30 minutes, so I think I'll call it here, people. Remember, like, comment, 
and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. Till next time, stay classy, Arnett. Answer the question today, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Till then, doodles.